This is Live for Love TV. Live for Love TV. Yes, I am. TV TV Welcome back for Live for Love TV. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Just want to say thank you to brother A, brother Adrian and sister Marie for this wonderful job they've done on this mug here for Live for Love TV. Wonderful, love it, absolutely beautiful, give thanks. So today is the 21st of the 6th, 2121, nice and easy, yeah? 20, uh, free 21's there, so 21, 6, 21, 21. Okay, today we're gonna go back a little bit to 1987. We're gonna remember the, one of the biggest dancehall records in 1987. If you're a reggae fan or a reggae artist, a reggae person, you like reggae, you know, in 1987, what was one of the biggest dance hall tunes? It was a tune called Big Belly Man. You remember that tune? Big Belly Man. Yeah, yeah. That's the Admiral Bailey track, dance hall style. For those of you who don't know that track or not too much into the music, it was really glorifying the Big Belly. And um, he even says in the record, get some belly. You know, everybody forgets some belly. So that was to glorify to get a bigger belly. And the reason for that, he was saying that was because as he interviewed later on to say that all the people of note, all the big DJs, the big people in, in, in his surroundings at the time, all the well-made men had big bellies. And it's quite interesting because when you go to Africa, soon as you, you land and, you know, you have a big belly, the first thing they say, boy, you're living good. You must be living really well. And that transmitted to Jamaica and the whole Caribbean. And that's in everywhere where you see the culture you find that uh, the well-to-do people in the community are the ones with the big belly. Well, it's, it's, it's amazing that we've come full circle now and that people have woken up to realize that these are the most unhealthy people in our community. And the one thing you don't want to do is have a big belly. That is a sign of some form of decline, especially for, for a man, especially when you reach a certain age, especially after 40 years old. When you start getting a big belly, it normally means your estrogen level is too high and your testosterone is too low. So your female hormone is too high and your testosterone, your male um, hormone is too low. Very, very bad situation. Leads to cholesterol, uh, diabetes, um, all kinds of illnesses, kidney disease, a lot of illness. Now, how did we get to the point in Africa, going back for hundreds and thousands of years where people would look at a man with a big belly and think that he's actually living good? when he's on the decline and probably closer to his grave than, than at any time in his life. Somehow that happened such a long time ago that maybe nobody can even remember how it came about. We know when people are poor and they're suffering and they're hungry and they always feel like they haven't got you know, enough uh, substance for themselves. They assume that if you're slim, you're really suffering and you know, you're, you're gonna end up like a, maybe some you know, prisoner that's been on a hunger strike. But then you lead to the other side where people eat too much. And as I would call it, they love their food more than they love themselves. And you see that a lot in the community. And you see, it, like I said, with the record in 1987, coming to the, the climax at that time. Now, since this pandemic has, has gone about, outside of the people of a certain age, which is the age, you know, the old age people, the people who are next in the line for... Um, for you know, for death basically in the, in this pandemic with this virus are the people who have that big belly, the people who are obese. This is a very bad sign for anybody, male and female. But I'm talking about the males today. What's interesting is it, you can't find any medical profession professional in Africa, in Asia, in Europe, in the Caribbean, in South America, or in Central America who will tell you to get some belly. There'll be none. As soon as they see you with a big belly, they know you've got a problem. And they don't really have to go and ask your wife how you're be behaving in the bedroom. They can see it 
and they know it because once your estrogen level is too high, things are just not going to be working well down there. It's as simple as that. So no matter how much roots tonic you take and how much this roots, this bitters, this, that, this, eventually everything's going to stop working downtown. That's a, that's, a, that's a fact. Anybody can tell you that who knows anything about medical history. So this concept that we've grown up with of people doing well when they've got a, a, a big stomach or a big belly is, is very, very ignorant. It's very, very sad. Um, when you're in, in certain parts of the world, especially in Africa, I've been to many, many countries in Africa, and you've been in the five-star hotels, you know, you go to the top hotels, you go where, where the money people are, where the politicians are, you go where the big, the chiefs are. And every single one of them have the one thing in common, they have a big belly. I mean, they, they, you, the first thing you see about them as they come out of their car is their belly. You, before you see their shoes hit the ground, you see the belly coming out of the door. It's amazing. And they're actually proud of it. They walk with a certain way with, about them that they push it out. It seems they push it out even further. Like to say, Simia, this is what you call wealth and power. And we who are of the 2021 know how unhealthy, how sick, how demise people in that situation is. But yet still in the 21st century, people are pretending to be, this is a wealthy way of living. It's very sad. We need to tell our young people, this is not the way, this thing that's in our culture or is cultural is part of a negativity in our culture. You know, so, you know, I'm, I'm not going to pretend that I've never had a big belly. I have times that I've gone up over the years and come down, gone up again, gone down. But I can tell you this, Pre preceding every time that my stomach has enlarged, I've been at my most ignorant. And that's what's led to it. Because ignorance leads to big bellies. I don't care what anyone tells me. If you want an argument with an ignorant man, look for one of the big belly man them. Does that mean that if you're slim, you can't be ignorant? Of course it doesn't. Of course you can be just ignorant with any size. But you cannot be an intelligent person once your belly is protruding beyond your belt and obviously be, even beyond your shoes so you can't even see your shoes half the time. That's not a sensible way. That cannot be a sensible way. If you have money or you have wealth in any way, external wealth, the first thing you should do is look after yourself so you can actually spend that money and live long enough to spend it. But whenever you go to any doctor and they see your stomach protruding, I guarantee you your cholesterol's too high. You're going to be having tablets for that. Your, your blood pressure is probably too high. Your diabetes level is very close. If you're not a diabetic, you're pre-diabetic. And these are, these are um, conditions that are reversible, or you don't even have to get to them in the first place. We need to change that narrative that we've had for hundreds, if not thousands of years. And when you see somebody with a big belly, that he might live good. He's not living good. He's struggling. Deep down, he's suffering. And you don't even know how bad things are for him at home. So don't fall into that trap. When you get your money, when you get your position, make sure you don't put all that wealth in front of you. Yeah, don't put it in front of you. Don't put it in, in, into your stomach. That is, that is ignorant. And we don't want to see people looking like that. We don't want to see our young people doing that. We don't want them to pick up the negative sides of our culture. There's so many good things in the culture that we come from, but this is not one of them. So that's Live for Love TV. See you back again soon. Take care of yourself. Say love. Say love. Say love.